What is up YouTube, Cruise Designs here and welcome to Tips Thursday. Now this Tips Thursday is going to be slightly longer than usual uh, just because I missed Tutorial Tuesday and I really want to get this video in. So today uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the page turn effect in After Effects. So animating a page turn. Now uh, this is a really cool effect, it can be used for 2D intros, uh, even 3D intros and I've seen it used for uh, a lot of things, uh, even app designing, uh, iPod apps, I've seen it used then. So I'm just going to show you what we're going to be making, this is the Imagine Customs intro by Oscar Sullers. I'm just going to replay it and just show you uh, what it is. So there's the uh, there was the page turn right there. Try and capture the moment right here. So this is where the two halves of the image split away, and that's what we're going to be doing. So the first thing you need to do is create a new composition. You want the duration as however long you want your product to be, your intro, whatever you're making, and you're probably going to want 1280 by 720. So we're going to click OK. Now you need to uh, get whatever shape you want your uh, page turn effect to be applied to. So uh, in the Imagine Customs intro it was these two halves it was applied to. I'm just going to use a simple square. So imagine this is like a page from a book or something. So once you've uh, got your shape that you want it, uh, you want the effect to be applied to we're simply going to come to the effects and presets panel if you don't see that go to window and uh, check effects and presets and then simply search for page turn and that will come up with CC page turn you then click that and drag it either onto the object or the layer down here and nothing happens at first but we get this menu so as you can see if I grab this uh, little handle, if I pull it, it was starting to get this uh, page turning effect. But it doesn't look quite right at the moment. It almost looks like uh, slightly see-through plastic or something, uh, the way the opacity changes. So uh, we're going to need to bring that down and perfect it. So also, uh, I forgot to mention, if you drag the handle off the screen uh, like that, you simply need to hold control and press the minus sign on your keyboard. That will zoom out and you can drag it back. So I'm going to drag it up here. We need to play around with the options. You want to keep all of these the same. We want front and back, but change back page to none. And now uh, we're starting to get a more uh, it's starting to look more like the Imagine Customs intro. We also want to change the back opacity to a hundred percent. So now, if we turn it, it looks a lot more like a piece of paper. Now, there's only one more step to actually creating the page, and that is some drop shadow. So back to the effects and presets, and search for drop shadow. It's right here drag that on once again to the object and you'll see it's applied a slight drop shadow I suggest that you uh, turn the softness up a bit maybe turn the distance up and there we go so I'm just going to zoom out uh, grab the handle again so here's our page uh, that we've animated I'm now going to put some keyframes in. So we want the handle down low so the page isn't turning at uh, frame one. Then we're going to drop down the CC page turn options and in fold position, you want to click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Drag it to where you want the page to turn. Drag mine here. Pull the handle up like so and it will automatically create a new keyframe now if I drag it back we've got a page turning effect and then of course you can have it turn back if we simply go to the end and drag it back down 
we then get this page turn. So it's a really cool effect, uh, really nice for 2D intros, typography stuff, that, uh, typography type things. But I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Cruise Designs, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.